Hey guys, so I just arrived at uh, my campsite about an hour, two hours ago, and I set up my camp. Got my tent here. And uh, no one else is here. It's a Wednesday, and uh, it's still pretty, er pretty early. And it's supposed to thunderstorm for like half the day. <laughs> but tomorrow is supposed to be real nice and the day after. So uh, might be uh, staying in the tent. Show you my tent real quick. Got my uh, sleeping area set up here with my uh, cocoon uh, air pillow and my climate uh, inertia. XL is under there, that air pad. Got Jack in there. Hard to see him through that. And then just some of my gear. So, uh, yeah, I might end up staying inside a little bit uh, today. Might just watch movies on my Kindle or my uh, phone if it starts raining and just chill out. Um, but this rain is supposed to pass and then it's supposed to be really beautiful tomorrow. So if I can make it through today, uh, tomorrow should be really nice. So let's see what happens. I'll keep you guys updated. Alright, so it cleared up. It might might still rain tonight though, but uh, for now it's cleared up really hot again. Jack's here with uh, Brutus. Got two tents set up in the hammock over there. Lots of gnats and we got Jay. And Brutus has got his thunder coat. Thunder, thunder shirt. Co thunder shirt on. We're not sure if it does much for him, but he seems calm now. Alright. Some people say like it easily flips you backwards too, so don't do that. <laughs> it's holding. Did it feel kind of scary for you? <laughs> yeah, it did. <laughs> They're fishing knots. The knots should hold. They're going to be a pain Just to... worry about the bungee snapping me in my <laughs> Actually... I don't know if those types of bungees snap or if they just fall to the ground. If they're cheap, they might snap. Yeah. Try to just like lift up your legs, it'll probably hold you. Oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> You're like an inch off the ground when you get on it probably. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it works. The Grand Trunk Hammock. Alright guys, so uh, we're starting our campfire here. Now we got tornado weather. The second time now I've come out camping. Last time we left because we got tornado weather. And it says that there's going to be severe thunderstorms, inch hail or larger, and uh, tornadoes and stuff at, like later. So we're going to try to get dinner done, but we're just going to start up our fire here first too. I got this fire paste, which actually works pretty good. I used a lot of it here. So this stuff burns for a while and uh, should start our fire right up with the dry wood we got there. I should open up the vent for Jack. Jump like I was? Yeah, just okay, when, I, when you hit this tree, okay, once you get to that tree, just jump. <laughs> It's raining out here. Not me. Are you recording? Yeah. It's raining, man. Raining. We're drunk and there's going to be a tornado. And we're raining. That's all I got to say. We made it through the night. It rained a little bit, but it wasn't too bad. We're cooking breakfast. We got bacon and pancakes, eggs, coffee. 
campfire. Campfire made bacon. Alright guys, so it's the uh, second day camping now. We showed just a second ago the pictures from breakfast. My tent here, I've had it for five years, it's a Wenzel. It uh, has a mesh top but a rain fly and it was, uh, it was leaking a little bit on me when I was uh, sleeping because it rained a little bit last night. So it was leaking a little bit so that wasn't cool but it wasn't bad, it didn't form a puddle. Right now we're just hanging out. Uh, Jack's behaving really good, just sitting down there. Uh, made some videos, well Jay over here did some uh, reviews just you know, killing time here. I'll uh, review the pocket stove and, uh, not the pocket stove, uh, another little stove and thing when we cook lunch. So stay tuned and we'll uh, keep going through the day. And when you close it, it's going to kind of squish, but that's alright. Just close it up. Just throw this in the fire. Let it sit for about 5-10 minutes. good turkey sandwiches made just a few minutes grilled up nice and perfect so try that one out Alright guys, so uh, we're here, and uh, I might have put a little clip in, this is a Wenzel Camp Grill, I don't like the Wenzel Camp Tent, which I might have shown earlier, but this is a Wenzel Camp Grill, it's like midnight, and me and uh, my friend JRE Show, who's got the lights, is uh, here, and we're both kind of hungry, we've been uh, camping out, drinking a little bit, and we're going to make some steaks on this Wenzel Camp Grill, so I'm going to go ahead and cook them up here, and we'll uh, come back after they're cooked and let you know how easy it was to cook on this and how they turned out, so see you guys in a little bit. So it's uh, the third day, slept two nights here so far, <clears throat> it's breakfasty time, making a little fire, which I thought we started it, but it, no, I guess not yet, and uh, we ran out of uh, unprepared food basically, so for breakfast we're having this uh, Mountain House scrambled eggs and cooking up the water on the pocket stove, and then we got uh, my Coleman propane stove, which this thing actually is pretty good, 10,000 BTUs, it's, it's big, but it's strong. And, uh, of course, if you guys watch my channel and cooking channel, I had to bring real maple syrup. So, uh, get the breakfast cooked, and then we'll probably talk a little bit more to you guys and sign off here after we pack up. Scrambled eggs with ham, red and green peppers. Cooked this this morning. Taste is good, but, as Jay said, it tastes like sponge. It's, uh, texture's a little odd. <laughs> 